Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over what is in my working dog bag when I take the dogs off to training and kind of like our must-haves for training days. I usually I keep this starting with the bag itself. This is a Kodo Paxi. Did I say that properly? It's actually gifted to me around Christmas time by Open Farm. So it has a little Open Farm label right there. It's really, really big and I kind of just stuff everything in there. Honestly, during training days, I'm just so focused on training. I just throw everything in a bag. It's like a hot mess in here, but we're gonna go over it anyways. Don't mind me, I'm gonna be drinking my iced coffee throughout this because I'm literally dying. First things first, we have our underdog training vest. If you guys don't have a training vest and you train your dogs, you need to get one. It was actually gifted to me by Draco's trainer, Oscar. We're great friends and he's an amazing person. So he gave me one. And uh, I don't know if they're in stock. I think they're in stock. But this is a size small. This is what it looks like on. Draco thinks it's training time. But there's just a bunch of pockets everywhere, which is amazing for holding treats, putting tugs in. There's even pockets in the back. It's just perfect. And it's amazing quality. There's also a little hood. So many people have one now. They've totally blown up. There's even a zipper katana. But as I was saying, this is my favorite training vest. Great quality, literally a must have. And I bring it with me everywhere, especially during training. It's super helpful. I didn't even notice. This lasted a good less than a week. You guys decapitated the lamb. Next up in our bag, we have another amazing training tool. It is these Voila Pet Training Tree Pouches, and they are literally amazing. Let me put you guys on. This one is a large. This is the first one that I had, and I loved it so much, I had to get another one because they came out with this dusty pink color. This one with the clip actually comes on and off, so you can have the belt if you want. It also comes with a belt, but I like this one because you can just clip it on your jeans or on whatever pant you're wearing and it just clips in perfectly fine. The locking mechanism is so cool because it actually stays open or you can shut it closed. I've been using this one a lot more. The bigger one is, this is what it looks like on with the metal clip here. Since this is the older version, the locking mechanism is a little bit louder. And this one is a lot more smoother and just overall nicer. These tree pouches are just so good because you don't have to put like nasty, like training treats inside cloth pouches anymore. They're just so easy to clean and they snap shut. So yes, highly recommend the Voila pet training pouch. I take this thing everywhere with me. Next up in our bags, we have their Herm Springer prong collars. This is the only brand of prong collar that I would recommend you use for your dog. You can get them literally anywhere, but I do have two that are powder coated from Primal Canine. I'll post their shop right here so you guys can take a look. A lot of people always ask me what brand this is. They are Herm Springer but Herm Springers really only come in a limited amount of colors. They're usually just black, gold, or silver, or like brass or silver, I believe. There's not that many different color patterns. So Primal Canine, she is a small business and she powder coats them. So Draco has a red one and Beretta has a light pink one, which what I think is absolutely adorable. I highly recommend yeah. Herm Springers and Primal Canine if you want a powder coated, really cute color one for aesthetics. If not, you can just get a normal black one. And this one in particular has like a clip right here. So it's easy to put on and off. E-collars are also something that I keep in my bag. I usually keep these on the side. I can grab them easily. I have the mini educator. This is Beretta's collar. Draco's is currently charging right now, but they are on a biotain strap. It's good quality. I like it because you can just clip it versus just the e-collar strap that it normally comes with in the box is absolutely horrible. We got this one on Etsy. I forgot the brand. I think it was Love Maya Creations or something along those lines, but I was able to pick the color. So I chose white and hot pink. It's easily cleanable. And also it's adjustable, so you can adjust it here. You can just clip it in and there's a little bungee. And Draco has the same exact thing, except he has a dark green one. This is our remote. So I actually got this skin on e-collar technologies where I got the e-collar itself. If you guys didn't know, you're able to like snap in and off different colors. I also have another remote here. This one's custom made. I don't remember getting this one, but I guess someone from Elevated gave it to me. And I changed the back color. Uh, so I was able to have like a dual color e-collar remote. And then I just have a carabine. Can't talk. I just have a carabiner at the end of it so I can just clip it onto my pants or I can clip it onto the side of the training pouch and it's just easily accessible. 
So yes, this is what my e-collar setup looks like. Also have this basket muzzle inside of our bag. I just have it in there as an extra safety precaution. All the dogs are muzzle trained, but we just, we just never use it. But I got this one on Amazon. It was super, super cheap. Along with the basket muzzle, we also are gonna get into the fun stuff. So we're gonna get into their training harnesses. They have so freaking many, but I'll go in depth. Right up. Hey. I'll go in depth about each one that we currently have and the pros and cons of them. This is all of their working dog harnesses. We have four. So Bretta has these two and then these two are Dracos. Katana doesn't enjoy doing working dog stuff, so she doesn't have one. Katana just doesn't like to work. I'm not going to even name the name. I'm sure you can see the logo, but I don't support them anymore just because I ordered a harness for Katana so long ago. She was like a puppy, so I probably ordered it like like February or March time-ish, and I still have him on my harness. He has deleted my comments on his photos and also just ignored my DMs. So I personally do not support them anymore, but that isn't to say that these harnesses are really good quality. I can put a link of where I would personally buy harnesses from now on, but both of these harnesses were made for Draco way back when. He actually delivered them, so I don't know why. He just took my money and left with it and never gave me my product. I'm not the only one that has stuff missing, so, but these are great harnesses and I really do love them. The only thing that I'm not a big fan about is that you have to like clip them back on every single time I use them, which can kind of get annoying. I had a custom made red one and he also custom made us this black and yellow one with like the yellow stitching. It's the same exact harness in two different colors. These are what we primarily use for Draco. However, this business that I got it from, I just personally cannot recommend to anyone anymore because so many people have gotten scammed by this guy. It's just really shitty. These two are Berettas. We barely use this one anymore, but this was kind of her Aww. puppy one. It worked for a short amount of time until she kind of outgrew it. So now we have this one for her. This one was actually given to me by my friend, Anna. I'm not really sure where she got this, but it says on here, Elite Canine. I'm not sure if it's real leather or if it's biothane, but it does clip on the same way like Draco's clips on. Oh yeah, by the way, Draco's, both of his are 100% leather. However, I'm getting a new harness that just has like actual clips on there so it's easier to put on and off rather than having to take this strap on and off, which I think is kind of annoying, especially when I'm trying to put on all their gear really quickly. I am not the biggest fan of these clips, but I mean, they work for now. As for leashes, a lot of people always ask me what kind of leashes I use for my dogs and we have every single type of leash imaginable to mankind. These are the four that I keep inside the bag and inside of our car. The first one here is this Biothane Slip Lead. I like slip leads because you just slip them on really quickly, so it makes things really easy. I have another slip lead here that's this thicker cloth material. I think I got this one on Amazon, which was also fairly cheap. So yeah, these are the two slip leads that I carry with me literally at all times. Another leash that I have that's like a must-have leash that I keep with me at all times, especially when we're training, are leather leashes. Leather leashes are great just because they're more grippy and they're just a lot more durable. They also just have like a normal clip at the end. This is what I use most during training. So I got this one from Self Canine. I do have another one. I believe it's in my car. It's like a dark green color, but you definitely need a leather leash. Another leash that we keep in our bag is this leash from Lil Howler. I just use these for normal dog walks. They're made from climbing ropes, so they're super, super strong. And also it has a little carabiner at the end that like twist so to open it you have to like twist and pull back it's really clipped on there really really well and it's like a cute pink color we only have a few more items in our bag as i was saying we only have a few more items in our bag here next up we're just gonna go over some dog treats i guess i just like to keep a bag of dog treats in our bag so of course with training we need to use food and or toys these treats normally just go into the voila bags i like to keep the chicken hearts in there they're small and they're good for training and they're low in calories so this is what they look like i normally just pour this bag into this and that's what we use we also keep ruku minis in there because ruku treats are really high in protein so the dogs really, really like them these are the Quail minis and these are perfect because they're easily breakable. It's like a doggy candy bar or like a chocolate bar. That is why I like keeping these in the bag. Not only do I have the minis, but wait, there's more. I have like a whole little section of the bag right here 
and I keep a bunch of Rufu bars. So this is what they look like. I have a bison one, a pork one, and I have a couple more in the pantry. I also found that I had a beef one. Let me show you guys what they look like. And I like the bags because they're resealable too. So you can like reuse them, which is really nice. This is what the bigger bars look like. Oh, there's more down there. They're from this small business and Martha is the business owner's name and she's absolutely amazing. She's so freaking sweet. But these are just the ones that I keep in their bag for training purposes. We're getting to the some of the last of the stuff that's in this bag. I didn't remember this bag being this big, but it really fits so much shit. Next up, we have a agitation collar. I believe I got this one from Stealth Canine as well. This thing's huge. It's not for Breda, it's for Draco. Just to hold him back at the neck area if I needed to. Sometimes we use agitation collars for bite work, but I haven't really been using it as much and it's kind of been sitting at the bottom of the bag. I pull these out and the dogs won't stop staring at me but these are their training reward tugs both draco and beretta are extremely high drive beretta's kind of food motivated and draco's not really food motivated at all so they are obsessed with their tugs and their balls we take these toys very very seriously because they're high reward for them as you can see they're trying to like eat me so these two are from Foam Dog Balls. It's a newer company. I think these might be my favorite balls of all time just because they're made out of this foam material. So they're really, really lightweight. He has so many different colors. So there's different ball sizes and there's different color combinations you can do. So he has a bunch of different colored straps too. Actually, he might only have orange and black. I don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure, but he has a bunch of different ball colors. So I really love these foam balls. Really, really durable. As you can see, the dogs really chew them hard. And the the strap is just really good high quality. He has a grippy strap version and a normal strap. I personally like the grippy strap because I'm able to tug better and I, I feel like I just have better control with this one. There are two different sizes. This is a smaller size for Beretta and then a larger size for Draco and the dogs are just obsessed with these. The dogs like it when there's like a bounce back. These are foam so they can like, like kind of chomp on it a little bit and it feels good on their teeth. These are definitely a must have in our eyes. We have a whole box of them so I have a bunch of different colors and I just kind of interchange them as one gets a little bit older than the other. So aside from the foam balls, I also have this ball. This is just a chuck it ball on a leather tug. I got this on a self canine, but um, I don't know what brand it is. Personally, not one of my favorites just because these are easy to clean. I can just wash them really quickly and all the dirt and spit comes off of them. However, with this one, leather gets dirty really easily, especially if your dog's slobber and dirt is all over it. They're not like the easiest thing to clean. I just have it in my bag as like a backup just in case. I'll let the dogs have that one for now. And then these two are tugs. This one was a gift from my friend Mel. She has a Malinois and this one is from, it says Rough Swag. I've never heard of that brand before, but I do keep this in our bag as well as this tug. These two are actually from Underdog, the same company that Vess was from. He just came out, also came out with some new tugs and toys. I believe these are a little bit newer. These are our favorites. The dogs really, really like these. The only thing is there are like a fabric material, so they do get a little bit dirty easily. And I just use them as like different rewards and stuff so they don't get bored of just the balls. But the balls, I like because you can like fit them in your training vest easily. Same with this longer skinny tug. This one's really, really good for training too because you can just put it in your back and pull it out really quickly. That red one they're playing with is a little bit more bulky. It doesn't fit in a training vest as well as the balls and the skinny tug from Underdog. Last but not least, the last thing in this gigantic bag is little howler, little water dish. I just keep a little tiny shallow water dish in there like as a little just in case. This also has a carabiner and it says little howler there, it's super cute. She has a bunch of cute different colors. This isn't the only water bowl or collapsible water bowl that I carry. I actually carry a big jug in my car, but as of right now, this is what I just keep in the bag if I need like a quick collapsible one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Here is all of the gear outside of the bag. This is everything that I'm able to fit in that giant Kodo Paxi bag. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Draco really, really appreciates it. Let me know down in the comments what other videos you guys wanna see from us. I'm kind of in a creative block and I don't know what to film next. I'm thinking about filming a dog mom car video so you guys can get a little bit of a better idea of what I keep in the car. If that sounds interesting, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.